what's going on this y'all boy battle rap chuck once again subscribe to my channel subscribe 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 prep versus drugs prep versus drugs was dope let me tell y'all something drugs for instance i remember when when drugs was going against danny myers I also remember when drugs went against Rum Nitty for the first time, not the second time. Um, it's easy to say that you don't like a certain battle rapper, especially if he had like it. And this is with anybody, especially if he does nothing for you, and you just like, oh nah, man, he trash. Oh nah, man, he ain't gonna never be good. Oh nah, man, he 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 trash. I just don't like him or. He don't have no believability. Like, I don't like him. Let me tell you something. I had to come to realize of, yes, there's certain battle rappers that just don't do it for me. Okay? And I'm just here to tell y'all. Everybody loves, like, an Iron Solomon. I'm not the biggest fan of Iron Solomon. It, like, maybe it's because the way he raps. Maybe it's because the way, you know, like, he raps slow. I'm not the biggest T-Rex fan. I'm not the biggest Iron Solomon fan. I'm not the biggest... Like, I would sometimes say Bill Collector, but he's like a hit and miss for me, right? And a lot of people like these guys. But I do respect these guys because you just can't just walk over these guys. You know what I mean? So, even like when it comes to like up-and-comers, drugs is a person where I'm just like, hey, you got to just, you know, like give him a chance. Like let You know, like let him do what he do. I know people feel a certain way to him as far as okay he's okay he's always on these cards sometimes yeah sometimes i could feel that way but at the end of the day don't nobody really really know how he's getting on the cards he might be on contract where he got a battle so you shouldn't be like looking at the battler sometimes sometimes you got to also look at the league but let's make this short though let's make you know the long story short drugs when he went against danny myers i told people i said hey let drugs do what he do as far as just trying to get it all together because i'm pretty sure he works on his material because if you don't in battle rap you'll get killed right i told people give him a chance right now when i saw drugs against yoshi drugs he did good enough to beat yoshi right but then he came to the part where he didn't remember his uh he didn't remember one of his one of his lines and i'm like ah man i'm like but i still had him be no girl i still had him be no so i'm like ah so then when he went against rum Nitty for the second time i said nah drugs you're not doing it for me in this first round when the second round came he started talking but then he started talking to rum Nitty, but then he gave that vibe and he even kind of told rum Nitty in a way well um, look at, you know, now you're battling, you know, like you, like you hear battling me, like you should be like on Summer Madness or Gnome or something. I think that's the type of, you know, the type of style that drugs was giving Rum Nitty. But it's like, you know, don't knock it down and just be like, don't knock yourself down and be like, okay, now you hear battling me. That's why I kind of felt like drugs went wrong. Guys. So then I was like, ah, but you know, I'm, I'm. I like bars. I'm into the craft. I'm into battle rap. I'm into, you know, real, you know what I'm saying, artists, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to hip-hop, you know what I'm saying, real rappers that talk that talk. I Like, I like rap. I like bars. So, I don't just, I wouldn't give up on a person like a drug. So, that's all I'm saying. So, I'm just like, uh, I'm like okay. So, then, I'm not going to lie, when I found out he was on this card, I'm like, uh, is he going to come with it? And then let's get the prep. Prep is so good at promoting. Well, not promoting actually. Well, I mean you could say that, but he's so good at talking at like talking to people, right? Like just like going at people and calling out people and saying like what he gonna do and this and that. And then it's like when he went against Swave, I felt like Swave won. When he went against Casey J, he choked. You know what I mean? I'm just like, come on, bro. I'm like, all that all that mess he was talking. You know what I mean? But he did say, hey, Casey did beat me. 
but let a nigga beat me. I bet a nigga can't beat me. Hey, it is what it is. So when I saw a prepping drugs on his car, I'm just like, are they gonna come with it? I saw they face off. The face off was pretty good. But then when it kind of got to the end, they was laughing and all that. And then I'm like, is they going to come with it, though? And then I saw Prep constantly promoting it, saying uh, he got into it with drugs, like, years ago and this and that. So I'm like, I'm like I don't know. And I'm not going to lie. This was, like, the least battle that I kind of cared about. I didn't mind seeing every, any other battle. This was the least one. But I'm like, are they going to come with it, though? So, man, when they finally got there, bro, and they went at it, man, they was going at it, man. Drugs came out the gate swinging on Prep, man. He told Prep, like, I don't like that. Like, I don't like what you did talking about that. You know what? Back in the day, you know, like that was years ago, blah, 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 blah. You know, and plus I was busy, you know, getting prepared for my baby shower. But I'm still here, though. And from what I'm hearing, he's like a last minute type preparation type person. But he comes with it, though. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, OK, I'm like, he coming at Prep, boy. I'm like, he is coming at prep. I'm like, he is wigging on prep right now. Talking about prep, do all these things for fame, and he hop on one lead to another. He like, like, like he going at prep. So then I'm just like, okay, well, let's see what prep talking about. You know what I mean? Because prep kind of gave me that vibe where it's like, so then prep goes. Man, prep was wigging, man. Prep was wigging. He was wigging on drugs bro he came at drugs like hey you know you like that you like another um new jersey twerk um like what he not telling y'all you know i swung on him you know this and that he tried to he like he tried to swing on me but he missed but you know to me it was funny it was it was funny because the drug was like no that did not happen but it was funny man because at the end of the day they both gave me that battle rap feel so prep came right behind drugs but to the point where Prep ended up getting drugs in the first round. He might have got drugs in that first round, right? So then when the second round came, I feel like... I feel like drugs got him in the second round by edge, right? By an edge. And this is one of them battles where when that one person do good and then that other person do real good after, it's kind of like in a way it kind of automatically goes to the second you know what i'm saying like the second person the person that goes second so if you guys was to give drugs the second round that's understandable if you guys did that right if you guys prep if you guys gave prep the second round that's understandable now the third round i feel like the third round was good on both but i have to maybe give that third round the prep as well right but let me tell y'all something this could be a um debatable battle this is a very very debatable battle i think regardless of drugs and prep leaving this battle like you know leaving this battle with a win or loss i feel like they both feel like they came very very well they did what they had to do and drugs probably like hey if you got prep one i understand i think prep is like hey if you got the way did i say that right i'm sorry I think drugs is more like if you got if you guys got prep winning, then hey, it is what it is. And I think prep like hey, if you guys got drugs winning, it is what it is. You know, we both came with it, so it is what it is. So um, shouts out to both of y'all, man. Y'all did y'all thing out there. Y'all did y'all thing out there, bro. So at the end of the day, man, it's just like I want to like I want to see prep and drugs continue to do what they do. You know what I mean? Because, hey, these vets ain't gonna always be here, y'all, whether y'all like it or not. I want to see prep, and I want to see drugs grow up in the culture. Cause I, but I'm not going to lie for prep to say, hey, you following up on your people, you doing this and all that with New Jersey twerking and all them. At the end of the day, I guarantee you, if drugs come to the point where he's just kind of doing his own thing, people won't always look at the behind New Jersey twerk and the behind the Jack Boy mains and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And for prep... Prep really did make me be like, oh, no, nah, Prep not even all that good when I saw him against Swave and KCJ. But Prep is actually dope, man. I like Prep, man. So, shouts out to both of y'all. Y'all both did y'all thing. Y'all both, you know, represent that DNV. You know, so it is what it is, man. That was a good, that was a really, really good fight, you know, from both of y'all. That was a really, really good fight from both of y'all, man. So, at the end of the day, I will give Prep this battle 2-1. If, if you guys do have drugs winning this battle, that's fine, man. 
But shout out to both of y'all. This y'all boy Battle Rap Chuck. 92. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Go on.